Alright guys, I'm going to be doing as much talking as I possibly can. Um, my background is extremely noisy, I just did my brows. Um, and I'm just going to now do my foundation and I've been using the um, and I've been using this a lot and the truth is it's okay I really don't I'm not completely in love with it it's just the foundation I choose to use in tutorials because most times lately whenever I'm doing tutorials it's just for YouTube then I just wash off my face yeah so this my color is in 212 and I'm darn near out and I'm not wearing any primer at all whenever I use this when I'm doing YouTube I don't wear any primer but when I go down the road, I wear my Makeup Forever Primer here. This one is in Base Nourishing. It's a nourishing primer, rather. Alright, so I'm going to be using the PH413 brush. Um, and they're currently available at Fontana Pharmacy, whether online or in stores. Um, hold on, let me see if I can at least turn the TV off. Yeah, so um, I'm just patting this into my skin. Just pushing it into my skin. I feel like ants bite me, like, or mosquitoes bite me. You guys are Jonathan. Jono? What are you doing? Play outside with Milo. Yes, I'm recording. Play outside with Milo. Milo, play outside with Jonathan. Go outside. What? <laughs> Alright, so that's. I just did one pump. I didn't do no two pump or anything like that. And I'm going in now with Toast from Black Opal to be my highlight. So, I don't know what has been happening, but there's been some people on my last video, I believe, not my last video, I think, a um, couple. By the way, I haven't recorded a video in three weeks. It's my first video that I'm recording for you guys in three weeks. Like for this channel, I've been doing vlogs, but I haven't done a makeup tutorial and I have so much to do it is it's just overwhelming the amount of work i have to do um i have to make a couple of wigs um um that i have i still i'm still not done reviewing i have to make those wigs because you know my hair is short now which by the way oh he's with Jermaine. apparently my hair is like making some people mad or I don't know my hair voted for Trump I don't know what's going on but some people are mad at my hair as if I'm going to change it because of their opinion honey why you not like so yeah so um so because my hair is short I can't sew them in so I'm going to be making wigs which I said it's on my vlog channel but I'm not sure I think I'll be recording couple of my wig makings I'm not quite sure yet I haven't fully decided but if I have I still haven't decided if I'm going to be doing it here on my lyric on um, on my on my lyric or just a channel or my vlog channel shades by girl and I'm just going to use this to do my low light and yes this is how I do my low light you guys call it contour no I do it um, before I set everywhere I just find that it just makes my makeup look natural. <laughs> Using that word natural very loosely. So this is the brush I use to do my foundation. So I'm just blending out the edges of everything. The edges of my highlight rather. Alright guys, so this is my Sasha Buttercup that I'll be sitting with. Alright. And I'm sitting everywhere that I put toast. Alright, so that's it. Now I'm going with Classic Espresso to go all over my face. This is the same brush I used for my um, Sasha Buttercup to set everywhere using the same brush. So it honestly feels good to just like film again for a hot minute. I was even wondering if I was going to be doing any more YouTube videos. And then in my head, <laughs> do you hear Jonathan? And then in my head, I was like, of course you're going to be, do be doing more YouTube videos. But I was just I wasn't uninspired because I've been seeing a lot of looks on Instagram and I was like, oh wow, I'd love to give my take on this looks. I haven't been uninspired. I've just been really tired, so I guess a three week break is what I needed. But I'm still, still um, keeping you guys somewhat up to date with my vlog channel. Alright, so now I'm going to be setting with my Sasha Buttercup again. Not setting, um 
baking but i don't consider it baking i just want to put down some catch powder so lately i've been using these two kali palettes like crazy i don't know what to do i don't know why but i've been using them almost like religious like every single day i think it's because it's just out it's just there so I just use it so i'm going to be using this color here to do my brow bone I feel like I was saying something to you earlier on, but then I forgot because I had to go and fix something a while ago. But I'm just using this on my brow bone. I think I was saying it was it's good to be filming again. And I have a lot of film ideas, but it's just the execution of them that just kind of makes me weary. Then this color from the same palette, this orange, and I'm putting it right where this color here ends. Now, I've been wearing this similar eye look for a couple of days now. <laughs> Yes. Yes. What is saying to me? What is saying to me? The drill can. I don't want to put that same orange color up here. What? You're drinking juice? Juice? Then this color. Oh, this is my MAC 224 brush. Wow, you guys. I absolutely love this brush. I've been using it heaven. By heaven, I mean often. I've been using it a lot. Alright, here we go. It's oh that one. This one was the first one. The I think it's the bronze palette, the very first palette that she came out with. And this is the burgundy palette. And I'm going to go with this color here. Still using my two two four. This color. So this one brush just did my entire eye. <laughs> and I'm gonna with this brush, it's just like a dome brush. And I've been as I said, I've been doing this eye look for like something similar to it, like a lot of reds. So going back in with the bronze palette. Jonathan, put it back. Put it back. Put it back, Jonathan. So I'm going in with this brown here. And I'm just focusing it right in the crease. And because this has like a point, it goes directly wherever I put it. With just a little bit of um color payoff elsewhere, but not a lot. So you see how I'm getting it messy. I'm going to grab this brush, clean off a little bit. Then I think I'm going to go into the burgundy palette, Jonathan. And I'm going to take this warm orange color and just blend that out. Whatever is left on it, just going to blend out the edges. Alright, so then I'm going to go in with the black from the bronze palette, like the, her very first palette. Top off. Let's put that in my crease as well. Tapping off. This is a very warm, romantic look. <laughs> I'm going to be taking, what should I take? Alright, let's grab this same brush, my 224, clean off a bit. Then, I'm going to get this color, this is from the Burgundy palette. And to just blend it down from my brow bone. Then what I did one day, which I loved, I went in with this color here from the bronze palette. Some tap here, tap here. It is not shimmery, but like, um, like kind of iridescent. And I put it on my brow bone. So you see it's not really coming Oh, ah, there we go. It's a little bit, it's just iridescent and I like it. Now, I do not preach shimmer on the brow bone at all, but I love how this looks. So I'm going to be grabbing, let's take this color again. I'm going to put it, see how there's like, you can see where the black ends. I don't want that. So I'm going to try my best to blend that out. 
I may have to switch brushes. Alright. Then I'm going in with, let's see, what color? Not from that. But I'm going to be going in with this color here. Yeah. Just a wash of color on my lid. Not too much. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, and for my glow and also for my um, inner highlight, I'm going to be taking Artist Couture's Conceited and I'm going to be getting the brush down. So now the brush is down, just going to dip it into um, Conceited, top off a whole lot because this thing is pigmented. Then I'm going to be lining my eyes with, where is it? Ah, my, um, from LA, this is LA Pro Primer in black. LA Pro Primer in black. So I'm going to sweep this away. Sweep it away. Remember back in the days when all we did was put catch powder down and did not bake, remember? And everybody's makeup was still fly, remember? Yeah, just blending out here. Those were the days. I'm going to grab my black eyeliner pencil. Here we go, if I can find it, which I did. And I'm going to go on the lower lash line here. Underneath the lash line, rather. So I'm going back in with Conceited. And back with Conceited again. And this is going to be my glow this time. Now as I said, these artist couture things, they're not for the faint of a heart bubble. I'm using mine lightly because it tends to be it's extremely pigmented so I'm going to lightly see that just nice sort of glow hey eating yum 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 so I saw Amri's with a highlight here and I was like that looks so cute for my blush I'll be taking the um, palette again um, the burgundy palette, yeah, and I'll be taking this orange color here as my blush. And lately, I've been using eyeshadows as blush, but look at how beautifully this translates as blush. You see that? And how it just warms up my face. And then my glow is just subtle, it's not too heavy, it's not too heavy at all. So, I'm going to be putting on my Pomi lashes in Fashionista the next time you see. Alright, so these are the lashes. That's oh, Donald Palm. Alright, so when this one gets a little bit more tacky, I can form it. So on my lips, I'm going to be wearing Coco K. And to line my lips, I'm going to be using um, LA Girls Lip Liner in Dark Brown. Yes, honey. Ooh, I love this look. And again, this is what I have been using, like these two palettes, like religiously for this month. I've been using them every single week. And that Artist Couture, yes, everything I use is sort of like a favorite, but not really. Um, I'm thinking about doing monthly favorites, but I'm not quite sure. 
if I want to go that route because if I do that I want to keep keep up with it for the rest of the month and it may start including other things and not just beauty so let me know how you feel about that um, and yeah um, this is the finished look you guys hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for um, you know just being with me for subscribing we made it to 2017 together because we love each water knitter um, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video see the next video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't follow me on snapchat and all that good stuff and I'll talk to you guys in the next video